What's he made? It's just like Christmas, isn't it? It is, isn't it? What have you what's made? In the, what's, what's in the, the box? box? Yeah. <laughs> Open the box. <laughs> Fantastic. You. Yeah, come on then. Noel, pleasure to meet you. Pleased to meet you. Howard from Dubious Engineering. We're here at the Midlands Model and Engineering Exhibition. I'm going to be running a homemade furnace that was created using the casing of a spin dryer, the blower from a hot point washer dryer, and the variable speed unit out of a Hoover vacuum cleaner. Sounds very dubious. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Good. I'm pleased. <laughs> I'll do my best to give you a good show then. So what, what, just quickly, what have you got here then? We, we are melting from scrap. <laughs> Okay, um, so this mostly, is bronze it, or? No, it is all brass, brass and it is nearly all plumbing fittings because they are a good known quality of alloy. Okay. Um, the end result, I hope, will prove my judgement. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Excellent. Thank you very much, Rob. Well, uh, I look forward to the show. See you. Enjoy it. <laughs> Cheers. Right, ladies and gentlemen, the appointed hour is here. It's approximately one o'clock. This afternoon I'm going to attempt to pour these three moulds you see set out in front of you. Each one has got several small components in it and you may wonder why they've got a lead ingot laid on top of them. It's quite simple. The molten metal will generate quite a considerable hydraulic force and were it not for those lead ingots it will simply float the top half or the cope off the mould and the metal would run out of the middle and defeat the whole object of what we're trying to do. So, hence the ingots. We're going to melt from plumbing scrap, taps, fittings and the like. And the reason for that again is quite simple. It's a good known quality of material, um, which should go give us pretty good results. The furnace started life as a Creda spin dryer. Hidden in the bottom of it, is the blower unit out of a hot point washer dryer and the red control panel which is the variable speed unit to control the blast came out of a hoover vacuum cleaner so um, i hope you'll agree i'm doing my bit for the environment in recycling things most of the rest of the tools and equipment are homemade um, there is no need to go and spend a great deal of money on, on this hobby unless you don't so you know, you've got plenty of money to throw away the only piece of technology that I will use, which is absolutely vital to success, is a means of electronically measuring the temperature of the metal pretty accurately. Because if the metal is too cold, it will obviously be too thick. But somewhat strangely maybe, if it's too hot, the same thing will happen. In fact, it will actually get thicker as it gets too hot. So the control of the temperature is one of the keys to success in this game. So an electronic means of measuring the temperature. Before we start, or before I light the fire at least, does anybody have any questions? Because once the furnace is lit, it will make too much noise for us to uh, have any meaningful conversation between ourselves. So, if anybody wants to address any questions first. What did you use for the insulation in your spin dryer? The lining is a brick. It's American K23. 23 signifies its temperature rating in Fahrenheit, because it's American, of course. Um, there are nine bricks loosely arranged in a circle. It is extremely efficient. The paint on the outside of this thing was put there by Creda, not me, probably 40 years ago. How effective those bricks are bears that out. It isn't hot enough. The outside of the casing, you'll still be able to put your hand on it after the wall of the furnace had been up to white heat at about 1500. So that's the key. The melt itself will take approximately 20 minutes. So for those of you who want to run off and get a cup of tea, you've got a rough idea. Where do you get the bricks from? Normally from suppliers of pottery kiln equipment. If you're really lucky and you find such a firm, you may find if you cross someone's palm with a bit of silver, and they're refurbishing them, they will let you have some of the old bricks, which is what I've used in this one. They weren't new bricks in the first place. So uh, you never know your luck there. Anything else? No? Right, fair enough. We'll uh, endeavour to uh, 
like fire and see what happens.
has he made? What's he made? It's just like Christmas, isn't it? It is, isn't it? What have you made? What's in the, box? In the <laughs> box? Open the box. <laughs> Give it a minute or two, folks, to let them just cool a little and we'll open the box. And then we'll see how lucky we've been. Fantastic. Someone's old sink cat. Yeah, well done. Don't get too carried away, we've got two more to look at yet. Oh, 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 oh.